So you were just invited to collaborate in LucidSpark, but aren't quite sure where to begin. In this video, you'll learn everything you need to know to effectively navigate, create, and participate as a contributor in LucidSpark. Let's begin by navigating the board. Your view is unique to you, and moving around only affects your personal view of the board. Two-finger scroll or right-click on your mouse to grab the board and drag or pan around. If you're using a mouse, press the spacebar and scroll. Or if you're using a touchpad, pinch to zoom in and out. If you ever feel lost in the infinite whiteboard, don't worry. Just check the minimap to figure out where you are or to navigate to another part of the board. As you work, you can see the other collaborators' cursors, but if you find this distracting, just click the people icon to the top right and again here to toggle them off. Now let's create. Add your first ideas to the board by clicking any tool you need from the primary toolbar and dragging it onto the canvas. If you quickly want to add a sticky note in your collaborator color to the board, just double click and start typing. Press enter on your keyboard and another sticky note will automatically appear. Once you have your objects on the board, click and drag to move, rotate, or resize them as you work. Now select any object and use the context toolbar to customize it using color, text, and other options. To add emojis, select the button here and choose a reaction. They'll appear below the object. Just hover over the existing reactions and click add for more. If you choose the wrong one, click it again to remove it. And get this, another way to add a bit of fun and personality to the board is by using the images icon on your primary toolbar to insert a GIF or two. When you're ready to organize, you can create tags to add labels and convey themes. Once a tag is created, you can add or remove it by using the tag icon from the context toolbar. You'll want to follow the lead of your facilitator for managing the board, but if you want to categorize ideas further, you can create containers by using the wrap feature. Use your cursor to lasso the shapes you need and then select wrap objects container. Or to sort based on specific criteria, lasso your objects select sort, and choose the criteria you need. At times, your facilitator may ask you to participate in a group activity or interact with a team resource. Let's learn how to use some of these features. To participate in a visual activity, click the Start button and then follow any instructions. Typically, this will involve clicking on an object and then dragging it into a container or ranked system. Once you've finished arranging your items, click Submit Response. You can then view results by clicking here or gain specific insights by clicking here. If your facilitator wants to put something to a vote, you may be asked to join a voting session. Normally, the voting panel will appear when the facilitator starts the session, but to open the panel yourself, just click here and select a voting session. To place a vote, hover over an item and click the plus button. To subtract a vote, do the same, but click the minus button. Submit your votes before the timer runs out and watch as your team's votes populate in the voting panel. If your facilitator wants to separate a large group into several smaller groups, you may be asked to participate in a breakout board. Usually, the breakout board panel will open when the facilitator starts the breakout, but to open the panel yourself, click Breakout Boards from the primary toolbar. Then, follow the facilitator's instructions to know which board to join. When you're ready, click Join to enter the board. And when you've finished, click Main Board to reunite with a larger group. Often facilitators will place links on the board to make it easier to access resources. If you click on a link and see this button in the center, you'll be able to open and make changes to that document without leaving LucidSpark. Then, just click on the X to close the pop-up window in your board. And if you click on a link and see this button, the resource will open a new tab outside of LucidSpark. So if you click on it, be sure to navigate back to the board following the facilitator's guidance. If a LucidSpark board is filled with information, your facilitator may choose to share a path with you. To join, open the link and click Follow. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see a navigation bar. Click the arrows to make your way through the path set up by your facilitator. Or go off-roading and interact with the board at your own pace. No matter what you choose, you can also move to the next frame by clicking here. Now you're ready to navigate, create, and participate in a meeting using LucidSpark. But this is only the beginning. To learn more ways LucidSpark can improve your team's collaboration, visit us at Lucid Training Labs.